Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I want to introduce you to hammers, or hammers, or hammer, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Real quick, before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So I want to give credit where credit is due and say thank you to Don, Victor Echo 3, Mike November Echo for sending me a link to this webpage. This is a really cool piece of software. Let's go ahead and get me off the screen and take a peek at this. So installing this is super easy. What you want to do is navigate to hamrs.alphapapapapa or .app. Once you get to this web page, you're going to go ahead and click on the Raspbian link right here, which will download uh, everything that you need. Once that download finishes up, let's go ahead and minimize uh, our browser window and open up the terminal window. You'll want to type in cd space tilde forward slash downloads. We'll go ahead and run the ls command and you can see the application right here. All we need to do is make that executable. So let's type chmod plus x ham and then I'm just going to type the first two or three letters and then hit the tab key to auto-complete that. Once that name populates for you, go ahead and hit return. Let's run the ls command again, and you'll now see that the application is green. To start it, it's very simple. We'll hit dot forward slash, and then we'll start typing the name of the application and pressing the tab key to auto-complete once again. Let's go ahead and press return and open up that application. Now, I have already had this open and playing with it, but I do want to show you something. The first time you run it, you're going to get a box that looks similar to this. You'll just go ahead and enter some of your basic information here. Once you've got that, you'll click OK or Save. I can't remember exactly which one it was in the very beginning. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and come up here in the top left corner and click Logbooks. Now, I don't have a logbook uh, that I've generated just yet, so yours should look exactly like this. Once you get to this screen, there's a green button right over here in the top right corner that says New Logbook. Let's go ahead and click on that. Now, we do need to give our logbook a title, so we're going to call this one Test Poda. And then under Templates, let's go ahead and select parks on the air. Now there is a template for winter field day and a general. I haven't played with those yet. I'll have to check those out a bit later. The one I've been looking at is for parks on the air. Let's go ahead and click save. This will open us up into our new logbook. So we do need to fill out some basic information over here on the right hand side. So I'll just say that we're operating on 7.200 which is 40 meters. I'm going to give it single sideband for the mode, and I need to tell it which park I'm activating. So, in today's example, it'll be park 99.99. And that's it. You are ready to start logging. So, we'll go ahead and type in the first contact that we made, uh, W4WFC. And if we hit the tab key, it's actually going to populate the uh, the name of the user that we've just contacted. If you're not connected to the internet, you obviously are not going to get this information here. But once you've given it the call sign, you can also change the sent and receive signals. If it happens to be a park-to-park -park contact, you could enter their park here and you've got a comment section. You can either click on the green save button or you can just press the return key on the keyboard and it'll populate that new contact down here in the bottom. Let's go ahead and get a couple more in here. So KF7VUT 
and we'll give him a 3-3 three, three, and a received 3-3. Three, three. And we can go ahead and hit the enter button or save again. Now, the next one, let's assume the next one is a park-to-park -park contact. So KG4 IKT, and we'll go ahead and just use our tab key to come over to the park. And they're at park 3333. 33. We'll go ahead and press return here, and it will log that. And you can see that it shows up right here that that was a park-to-park -park contact. Now, let's assume that we're done and we're back at home and we're ready to export this log. This is actually super simple as well. We can just click on logbooks again, and it's going to open up this page here that gives you all of your different logbooks. We'll come over to the gear icon on the right hand side and click on that and simply click export ADI. We need to tell it where we want to export it to. In this case, we'll just use desktop. Now it does give the ADI file the exact same name that we named our logbook. If you want to change it to something else, you could go ahead and do that now. And then once you've got it, we'll just click the Save button. Let's go ahead and minimize the application. And I'll minimize that terminal window as well. And you'll see right here on our desktop is the ADI file that we would be ready to submit so that everyone got credit for the contacts. If you right click on that and choose text editor, you can actually take a look at the contents of this file. So I think this is going to be a fantastic logging application. Uh, as you can see from its release number, it's still in its infancy, but I'm hopeful that this is going to become probably the go-to application for logging. I love the fact that it's cross-platform, meaning it's going to run on Linux, it's going to run on Windows. Right now they have a Apple uh, iPhone version or an Apple iPad version available as well as the Raspberry Pi. One thing I haven't seen built into this that hopefully they will accomplish in the future is a way to network different computers together. I know for a lot of organizations when it comes to working field day, they want to be able to network things together so that they can see uh, if there's any duplicates between stations uh, as they're going through and looking at their contacts. So I think there's a lot of room for growth, but this is a really fantastic start. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.